Hello everybody and welcome to this video on epiglottic entrapment. My name is Simon Hennessy here at Angus Lodge Jackman Hospital. So the epiglottis is the triangular leaf-shaped cartilage at the front of the throat. With epiglottic entrapment, the subepiglottic tissues in the epiglottic folds become inflamed, causing these tissues to swell, and then when the tissue is swollen, it can flip up and entrap our epiglottis. In more chronic conditions, an ulcer can also be present. Horses with epiglottic entrapment usually present making an expiratory noise because essentially what they're doing is blowing air directly into the entrapping tissue. In rare cases, some horses can even present with exercise intolerance. Treatment of this condition is, requires surgical dissection or cutting of the entrapping tissue, usually straight down the middle, using either a guarded knife or a diode laser, usually under endoscopic guidance, taking great care not to hit the epiglottic cartilage that's present underneath. In chronic cases where an ulcer is present, removal of the ulcer is usually required to prevent recurrence of the condition. Postoperatively, the key treatment is anti-inflammatories involving both systemic anti-inflammatory medications, topical throat lotions, and usually a rest period from active exercise of between one to three weeks depending on the level of inflammation present in the throat. Prognosis post-surgery, again, is good to excellent, but we need to be aware that about 10% of horses that prevent for epiglottic entrapment that is released can subsequently develop intermittent dorsal displacement to the soft palate. And that's it. Once again, it's important to remember that conditions of the upper respiratory tract are often complex involving multiple structures. And so to get the clearest picture and the, the most complete diagnosis of what's going on in our horse's throat, we need to do a dynamic endoscopy or an overground scope. Join us next time when we're going to discuss the question, does my foal need a screw? Thanks.